I've just bought a tablet PC. Uh, it's um, a SmartQ X7, uh, one of the many tablet PCs from China. And I bought it partly because I wanted a, um, a navigator for when I go on my bike. And this will, um, if I press this, it's going to tell me where I am now. Yep, and that's where I am now in the map in the center there. And I can download maps into it so that when I'm on my bike, I can just take it out and it'll tell me where I am, like having a normal paper map with me all the time. Uh, slight, slight disadvantage in that the uh, coastline seems to be uh, rather... Uh, there's two of them. I downloaded the detailed coastline and the uh, and the old undetailed coastline is still left there. That's a problem with the um, my installation of MapDroid. <coughs> and the other thing I use it for is um, to read things. For instance, um, oh sorry, that's the browser. The browser can have loads and loads of uh, tabs running at once if I want. As you can see, there are loads of tabs running at once. Um, I can book, watch videos on YouTube. Um, there's loads of yeah, loads of tabs in the browser. I can map my ride. That is, I can sort of uh, map where I'm about to cycle down to the coast. And uh, I can. Ooh. Uh, the other major use was as a Kindle book reader. Uh, I haven't got many books in here yet. Hey, is this really Kindle? No, probably not. Mm, uh, not really. Oh, there, Kindle's just uh, just arriving. Yeah, so um, I haven't done. I'm going to read some Thomas Pynchon probably. And uh, here we go. So it's got a Kindle reader inside it. Uh, hold on. What should do? Ah, oh, here we go. This is just a, a a preview. So there's a Kindle, and it's also got um, uh, a, a, a PDF book reader. Um, which uh, enables me to read in bed when the light's out. It's amazing, really. It's like a computer, except in the size of, um, well, it's a tablet PC, yeah. I mean, yeah, gosh, I'm a fuddy-duddy. But uh, there it is. Can, yeah, it's very, it's incredibly powerful. Um, it's also got uh, games, if I wanted them. I let Ray play on the games occasionally. Like... Uh, Angry Birds, famous Chinese game, I believe. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Here they are. And uh, I don't know what it does really. Mm. Yeah. Go on then. No, I don't know how to do it because I haven't been playing with the games. But it's got um, extensive games inside it. Oh, this one here. Oh, this one here is easier. And you can, yeah, like that. Ooh. Yeah, so lots of games inside it. And, uh, loads of things can be ran at once. It's it's almost as powerful as a window, as, you know, full-sized Windows 7 PC, except in the size of something that fits into your hand. And as I say, I bought it as an e-book reader and as a satellite, and it fulfills both of those. But it also, you know, you can you can type, and you can blog, and you can write things and research things in this tiny piece of software, a tiny piece of hardware. So well done, the Chinese. Well done, smart devices. Smart Q, it's called. It's it's very similar to the Nexus, which is sold by Google. Google only makes software, but uh, uh, the Nexus is not expandable, whereas this one has a um, SD card that you can um, put in there. So. Uh, you can you know download as many maps as you like or whatever download as many apps I'm getting to use the word apps um, <clears throat> and uh, it's even got a 
the camera. At the moment, it's inside its case, so hold on. That's me. Oh dear. Here I am. And this is the front facing camera. They're both not terribly high quality, but um, as you can see, it, uh, sorry, um, it takes photos as well, as well. So, wonderful piece of tech. Photo. Uh, I recommend that everyone has their tablet. Uh, that we're all going to get um, addicted to uh, Chinese tablets.